your brain! In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Two straight lines, they broke their bread. <laughs> and brushed their teeth and went to bed. The girls would all pretend to snore till Miss Clavel closed the door. And as one day became another, most of all, they loved each other. They smiled at the good. frowned at the bad. We frown at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. Very, very sad. at half past nine. In rain or shine, such good little girls in two straight lines, except the smallest, Madeline. Madeline! Madeline! If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, Petite. But that is never stop you from being pretty. I'm 
to little creatures, she was nice, and she was not afraid of mice. These mice, they are my friends. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger at the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo. And nobody knew quite so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. I'm not too frightened, Miss Clavel, sometimes even more. You're looking for adventure, come fly with me along. I'll show you all a ferry, I'll take you on a tour. We'll go up and up and up so high, then low for an encore. I'll take you on a little trip high above the sun. We'll buzz the Eiffel Tower, then we'll go right up again. We'll greet the happy tourists on the broad Champs Elysees. We'll zoom right through Napoleon's arc. He loves flying with us today. There's a picture I can figure out What is she smiling for? It's time for us to land In this new aeroplane of mine The only way to travel In that vine-covered house, all was happy and fine. Till that morning, the girls left in those two straight lines. It was winter in Paris, a very cold day, but poor little Madeline did not want to play. Merveilleux, how these little girls can skate. Ah, oui, merci. Our Madeline is our star skater. Madeline? Show the monsieur your triple jump. No, no, pardon. Not today, Miss Clavel. Come on, Madeline. You are so good. Merci. But not today, Chloe. I will just sit here and watch. Even when she watched the mice capading gaily on the ice, the poor, petite thing refused to smile even for a little while. The juggling clown popped out to play, but Madeline just walked away. By the time they reached the zoo, eleven girls walked two by two. Where is Madeline? Yes, she must scare the tiger back. We, oui, oui, where is she? Madeline, are you all right? Oui, oui, Miss Clavel. Just a little tired. Aha! Fatigué. I think you little girl stayed up late last night after I turned out the light. Oui, Miss Clavel. Come, ma petite Madeline. We need you at the tiger's cage. Nicole is so scared. Ooh.
In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so, I sing this song. At night it should be calm. At night it should be still. But something in the air has given me a chill. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so, I sing this song. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing this song. I have an awful feeling. I can't say what or why. It could have been a dream, but I thought I heard a cry. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing. Madeline sat up in bed. She cried and cried. Her eyes were red. Dr. Cone came quickly by to see what made poor Madeline cry. Say, ah. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Aha. Oof. Mm. And shortly after, Dr. Cone rushed out to use the telephone. And he dialed Danton 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket safe and warm. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. <laughs> oh, Madeline, please come back soon. Do not worry, mes petites. Everything will be all right. <laughs> In a car with one red light, they drove out into the night. When the girls awoke next day, Madeline was still away. Where is Madeline? I was hoping it would be a dream, but she is not here. Oh. <laughs> now Madeline has no pedendix. Silly, it is appendix. <laughs> L'appendix. What is an appendix? Everyone knows what is an appendix. It is a thing in the... the head. In the head. Now Madeline has a hole in her head. <laughs> no, no, Toto. The appendix is a thing in the... the arm. Now Madeline has a hole in her arm. <laughs> Everyone knows the appendix is a thing in the tummy. So, now Madeline has a hole in her tummy. <laughs> in the night without a pout, that bad appendix was taken out. Madeline woke up several hours later in a room with flowers. Here is some mineral water for you, Madeline. And tonight, you will have ice cream. Merci, madame. Is there anything else you would like? Some mice, s'il vous plaît. Some ice? No, madame. Some mice. Eek! Back at the house, the girls said a prayer that Madeline would soon be there. With their bravest away, they weren't amused. 
their daily routine became very confused. They frowned at the good. They smiled at the bad. They didn't know when to be happy or sad. Hmm. I think that was not correct. Oh, Chloe, I am so confused. And most of all, we love our butter. Huh? First we brush our bread, and then we break our teeth. Meanwhile, Madeline ate and drank. <laughs> On her bed, there was a crank. And a crack in the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky. And so, ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Oh, yes! oh, Madeline! Not so fast, mes petites. First, we finish our breakfast. house set in Paris lived 12 girls who were quite fine and the smallest but the bravest was our best friend Madeline. Ma chérie, oh ma chérie, oh ma chérie, oh Madeline, you have lost your dear appendix. Quel dommage, Madeline. She loved mice and she loved tiger, she loved rain and she loved shine. Never crying, always laughing, she was happy all the time. Ma chérie, oh, ma chérie, oh, ma chérie, oh, Madeline, you have lost your dear appendix. Get the match, Madeline. Then Miss Clavel said, it would be so pleasant to stop and get Madeline a beautiful present. Only 843 francs for this fabulous vintage carousel. Bon, for you, only 842 francs. Oh, Chloe, you cannot get that for Madeleine. Look for something smaller, mes chérie. Come, we will get something smaller. Attendez, attendez! For you, only 839 francs. Oh, Daniel, you cannot get that ice cream for Madeleine. Look for something that doesn't drip, ma chérie. Come, we will get Madeleine something that doesn't drip. What shall we do? We must buy something for Madeline. I do not know what we can get. Eek! Eek! A mouse! Do not eek, eek, mes enfants. These mice are not real. interest you in one of these lovely tigers. Oui, oui, this is much better. Madeline will love to say poo poo to this. How much, monsieur? Ma chérie, oh, ma chérie, oh, ma chérie, oh, Madeline, you have lost your dear appendix.
visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door as tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase in they walked and then said ah when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from papa I'll be outside talking to Dr. Cohn. Now you girls behave. A tiger. <laughs> Silly girl, just say poo poo. Yay! But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Ooh. Voila, my scar, voila, my scar. Unless you take a peek. It's not real big, it's not real red, but it's truly three, three chic. It is time for us to go. You and Madeline have made a lovely show. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. Goodbye! We'll come again! And the little girls left in the rain. Poor Madeline. She has to stay in bed. Yes, with all those toys and candy. And the doll. They went home and broke their bread. We love our bread, we love our butter, and most of all, we love each other. We love our bread, we love our butter, and most of all, we love each other. And brushed their teeth and went to bed. Then, in the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. Is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing this song. Everything was good. Everything was fine. What could it be now? After Madeline. Something is not right. Something is quite wrong. Something is not right. And so I sing this song. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. <laughs> and she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. <laughs> she turned out the light and closed the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. Beep, beep. 
Your nose looks goofy, tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you as I'm